Most computer users would agree, at least in principle, that maintaining privacy over your personal computer data is better than the alternative. Now, I have also stated in the past that I believe there is no such thing as privacy anymore, at least here in the civilized and computerized West. Regardless, I still maintain that some privacy is better than none, don't you think? Anyway, when you start to dig into Windows privacy settings in both Windows 10 and 11, it quickly becomes tiresome and confusing. This is especially true for Windows 11, where Microsoft is working hard to perfect a unique blend of obfuscation and dumbing down, so that it has become a real chore to find anything useful anymore as far as system settings. Never fear though, as I have three free tools you can use to make some meaningful changes to Windows privacy settings. All are easy to use and easily reversible, and should take just a few minutes to implement. They will work on a Windows desktop computer or on a laptop. Shut up, 10. This free tool works on Windows 10 and 11, and can quickly make changes to a lot of Windows settings with a couple of clicks. This program just needs to be downloaded and unzipped into a folder. It does not need to be installed. Double-clicking launches the software and you're presented with a few main choices. Apply recommended settings. Apply somewhat recommended and recommended settings. Or apply all settings. These choices are offered in order of severity, if you like. You can see what the settings affect by the color codes in the right column. You can also turn individual settings on and off via the switches on the left column. Using one of the three default settings is probably initially best for satisfactory results. I have used ShutUp10 on both Windows PCs in our home for the past couple of years, one running Windows 10 and one running Windows 11. In both cases, the second setting, the somewhat recommended and recommended one, seems to be a good middle ground between being useful and possibly breaking some Windows functionality. After making your selection, closing the program will apply the settings and will offer to create a system restore point before doing so. I always do this. The computer will generally then need to be restarted to apply the settings and that's it. I find that Windows will sometimes override these settings after major upgrades, so you should probably run the program again periodically to check if the settings need to be reapplied. The software will tell you if changes have been reverted since it was last used. DNS Jumper I've mentioned using an alternative DNS provider before in past videos, and DNS Jumper makes it trivially easy to do so. The DNS lookup process is what allows your web browser to find a particular website, and by default is provided by your internet service provider, or ISP, who will also therefore have a record of what sites you are visiting and when. Alternative DNS providers can be more private, and some also offer some additional protections against known harmful sites, or even those with adult content, if that's a concern. Again, this program is downloaded to a suitable location and can be used without installation. Simply launch the software, choose a DNS provider from the dozen or so listed, apply the changes, and restart the computer. You may also enter a custom DNS server of your own preference, and using this software is much more straightforward than digging into the Windows network settings to do it. Privacy Badger This is a web browser extension for Firefox and for Chromium-based browsers such as Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Opera and Brave. This software comes from the Electronic Frontier Foundation, or EFF, a non-profit digital liberties advocacy group. Once installed, Privacy Badger helps detect and block trackers of various kinds that sites use to follow you around the internet. It's very much a set and forget kind of addition, but can be readily disabled for a specific site if it seems to be problematic, which I have honestly never seen in all the time I've used it. This is something I use on both our Windows computers and on my Linux laptop. As a sort of bonus, I would be remiss if I failed to mention that any Windows computer I've ever built has always used a local user account. I've never logged into any of our home computers with a Microsoft account. 
With a local user account, your data is stored strictly on your own computer. With the Microsoft account login, there is a lot more access to your data by Microsoft. Local accounts are suitable for users who prioritize privacy and only use one device. While Microsoft accounts offer data syncing and some additional security features such as two-factor authentication, but very little in the way of privacy. Microsoft has also decided to make the local account option stupidly hard to choose when initially setting up a Windows 11 computer, although there are some roundabout ways to do it. If you are currently using a Microsoft account login, you could create a new local user account and start using it instead, but you might need to copy documents and photos, etc. from one account to the other, which I would guess most home users would not want to deal with. I do have links in the video description below regarding setting up Windows with a local account, in case anyone is curious. So there you have it. Three easy, fast and free ways to bump up your Windows privacy. Get busy and thank you for watching.